People, 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 good morning, good morning, good morning. You know who it is, Arsenio Buck reporting live from Bangkok. Guys, great news, great news. Um, I was actually in the shower because all my ideas in the morning actually come when I'm in the shower. And I was like, you know what? It's time for me to start a new blog because one of my uh, followers, she was like, you know what? <clears throat> I uh, My weight has increased about eight kilograms which is a hell of a lot within a two-month period, what can I do? And of course, her being here in Thailand, I know exactly what the problem is, and it's the ridiculous high glucose and high sodium diets that they have here. So I'm like, listen, I'm going to have to write something out for you. Uh, now, the thing is, in terms of taking out, putting back in all that stuff, there's a lot to go. Anyways, let's just make the story story. I actually uh, decided that I'm going to create four other shows, a show about travel, a show about health and fitness, and a show about uh, what I teach a lot of the students in the uh, Southeast Asian seaboard in terms of uh, Indonesia, Vietnam, and of course here in Thailand in terms of uh, test preparation stuff. So I'm going to create those. So I got actually one of my close guys who I'm actually going to be giving compensation to because he is the man. He actually helped me so much before. Uh, I got him working on the photos right now, and once he does it, I'm actually going to connect a lot of my podcast in those shows too. Now, the podcast that's actually on the iTunes store, that's in terms of personal development and stuff. But I won't have to put like TOEIC or IELTS test preparation or health and fitness. I won't be putting that on there anymore. I'll just put just, you know, personal development stuff on there. So, and then I was like, hey, I need to write out a plan. And I'm like, well, you know what? I have a blog, but no one follows it anymore. It's kind of, it's kind of like obsolete, you know? It's kind of just. I didn't really <clears throat> stay on top of it when I was on top of it four years ago, and I actually had a lot of followers, but the next thing you know, it just suddenly just kind of fell off, and now there's so many other blogs out there, so I'm like, you know what, I'm going to create a new blog, and then I'm going to create it into the site, probably in the beginning of January, The uh, it's going to be called the ArsenioBuckShow.com, whereas you're going to be able to click on multiple tabs in terms of health and fitness, personal development, a lot of other things. And my podcast will be connected to it, so that's going to be the website. So that's the big news that uh, that I'm going to be telling you guys about today so I can create more traffic in terms of people who are looking for different things and reliable sources rather than just reading gluten-free stuff that's out there and all these Mickey Mouse people that are out there. So I'm going to give you real-life experience and all that. So that's in terms of my website, in terms of me creating other podcasts. And, of course, having this personal development one as I do right now. So, with that being said, people, multiple sources of income. I told you I was going to talk about this last time. Uh, And so here we are. We're going to be talking about multiple sources of income. So, Lisa Nichols, Bob Proctor, they talk about about this a lot. Okay, so the thing is... You don't just want one source of income. One reliable... I guess in this world, it's kind of unreliable source of income because the thing is, if that drops off, you no longer have any more other sources of income and then you fall flat. I've actually experienced this and the thing is, I have no problem telling anyone this because this is part of my life. This is part of who I am. I have nothing to hide. So I have no, I'm just going to tell it how it is. You know, back in 2003, you know, my mom lost her job. And the thing is, she only had one source of income, and it was that job. And I don't know why she didn't receive unemployment. Unemployment, for those of you in Thailand or anywhere else, if you guys don't know what this is, this is basically receiving benefits from the government or receiving benefits from, let's just say, a little agency, right, Uh, every week until a certain amount of time just to hang you over until you get another job. Well, my mom didn't receive that because I don't think she was working there long enough. And so... From 2003, I have to say September, all the way up till December, it was it was really rough. It was really rough. We didn't have much food. Uh, I remember the power got cut off one night. We had to sleep in literally cold, uh, and it was cold outside. It was probably like 10 degrees or something like that. We had to sleep in the cold. Uh, I had There was a lot of family issues, even with my brother and stuff like that, and it's crazy because my mom, you know, she did everything she could. Uh, and of course, living in America, you actually have a lot of things that you could do in terms of, you know, getting money, you know, uh, getting welfare and stuff like that. But that had to be the last hardship that I've ever endured 
back in 2003. But then my personal hardships, you know, being out here in Thailand, there were times where I only had $10 in my pocket. But I was still grateful and I was like, hey, you know what, I'm going to get paid tomorrow. And then at the end of this month, I'm actually going to get a big check from my school. But I actually had to borrow money from my uh, particular education department. And boy, it was crazy. This was like three years ago, man. This was when... Hard times came, but I said, God damn it, hard times are not going to take me down. But then I started realizing, I'm like, you know what? I don't like this one income stuff. I don't like just be, having one rel- reliable, which was kind of unreliable at the time, source of income. So I started doing private tutoring. This is three years ago. And when I started doing private tutoring, I started getting so, uh, income from not only my job, but from other places. And so my monthly income will would increase over time and I could like put that towards all the little things in my life and I could actually save more and this and that. And then I realized I didn't even know about multiple sources of income back then. But I'm like, you know what? I don't want one source of income. I deserve more. I deserve more. So at that given moment, I said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to come out here to Bangkok and I'm going to find a couple of jobs, which I did. I was actually working out of school. Not the best school, not even close to being a, number, a, a one school on a scale one through ten. It wasn't even a one. It was below that. But uh, that was one source of income, and it was very unreliable because I would have deductions out of nowhere, and nobody would tell me why. Uh, but then I started working at my wonderful job that I'm working at right now because it, it has allowed me to grow as a professional and as an entrepreneur because now I know my true self-worth. And so I had two sources of income. So I just had a big blop here, a big blop here, already making more than most Americans make uh, on the average, okay? There ain't no $10 an hour here. I was making more than that. And I was like, yeah. But then one source of income went away, and then I had my big source of income, and which is my job right now. But then I'm like, you know what? Okay, that's great. I started going into different companies, teaching at different places, this and that, okay, over the course of years. And it was it was all... It was, it's great. It's great. It's fantastic. But then I started saying, you know what? I want more. And the thing is with my story and reading these books at the beginning of the year, that's when I created my podcast. And then, of course, my podcast, a lot of people aren't keen on it at work because they don't like success. A lot of people don't like seeing other people become successful, obviously. Look at LeBron James. Look at Kobe Bryant. Look at all the fanatics out there, the people who have made billions upon billions. A lot of people don't like them because with success comes a lot of hate. So that's what has happened, you know, over the course of my my entire life, to be honest with you. Uh, But, of course, it ensues and stuff like that. So people are very jealous and whatnot. But the thing is, in order for you to not only set up sources of income, but you're going to have to become a convenience to yourself and an inconvenience to other people. See, this is when I created my podcast because I had a story. I had a story, and my story deserved to be heard. By a lot of people. And a lot of people weren't happy about it because I spoke the truth. And so, anyways, with that podcast, of course, this podcast, when this came about, I started looking at other things. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should put my podcast on iTunes. You know what? Because this could create a lot of traffic. I'll do a lot of different things. I could connect it to a website, which I'm actually doing right now. And so I started thinking about a lot of different things. And I'm like, okay, this is good. I like this. I like this. And... So now, in terms of, like, people in Vietnam saying, hey, can you teach me? Uh, I'm now trying to create a a course, a course online for a lot of people, uh, for people who are actually looking in terms of, you know, doing IELTS, this and that. I've already gave you guys – oh, that's my next podcast. I'm going to have to do that on my education podcast, though. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that for all those people who are actually studying test preparation courses. But – I started looking at other ways of earning different income, and it's a, and it all comes down to what product can you put out there. I love it because I actually met an Indonesian wonderful girl, absolutely wonderful, and she was like, hey, you know what? Actually, I don't have a job right now, but I have an online business. The next thing you know, she's like, hey, I got a job. So now, not only does she have the online business, but now she has her primary source of income. See, always have your primary source because, of course, when I was talking about Tony Robbins yesterday, what you want to do is set up an automatic deduction out of your account or set it up in terms of you just completely forgetting about it. And you can set it up out of that primary source of income. So that way, your other sources of income generate income, you know, throughout the course of the month. And it's and it's perfect. See, that's why I'm like, you know what? 
I would love to get paid weekly. And then I was like, you know what? I would love to get paid daily. Then I was like, hey, how about getting paid while being asleep? See, this is multiple MSIs. And the craziest thing about it is it's, it's kind of like uh, people who juggle, right? If you've seen some of those circus crazy acts, man, they could juggle like five things at one time. Well, the thing is they didn't just start off with five. They started off with two, right? So they were juggling, then they got that down, and so they started juggling three, and then four, and then five. And that's kind of like how multiple sources of income are set up. What you need to do, of course, in terms of figuring it out, is ultimately saying, hey, what is needed in my society, in this country? What are people asking for that's lacking in my community? And what can I do in terms of giving them this? Because when you give, that's when you ultimately start to receive. See, when I became, when I started becoming a speaker, and then finally I was on stage in a massive auditorium, I'm like, oh my God, this was my calling from the beginning. I started getting other opportunities too. This is what it's about. And this is all multiple sources of income. And they all have one thing in common, like Bob Proctor said. They all flow into your bank account or it's handed, you know, in hand and stuff like that. You know, it's crazy because Lisa Nichols was talking about, you know what, if you actually work for someone else, but you want to expand your lifestyle or live, you know, uh, an assignment that's not attached to that specific person, start seeking out other ways to bring in income. At the same time, you're pursuing your passion. So when I actually read her say, you know what, these include, you know, consulting contracts, a blog coupled with affiliated, you know, relationships, that's when I decided to actually delete my old blog and set up a new blog in terms of the whole entrepreneurship thing. Uh, So this could all be linked through my blog. And so people could actually listen to me. They can read it and they could see it visually. So this is all going to be perfect. And so Janet Switzer actually even said in her book, uh, Instant Income, she calls out these multiple streams of income, you know, in terms of, you know, it being occasional entrepreneurship, one time hassle free, low commitment projects, you know, and sometimes they'll go away. Sometimes some will be bigger than others and some will be small. But the thing is, they all have one thing in common. So when times do get tough. You're not going to be sitting there saying, oh, my God, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to do this? Uh, I don't have any money. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have a savings. I don't have anything. No, because if times get hard here, you still have a source of income here. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's okay. Okay, I got this particular amount this month, but I actually got this over here, too. See, that's what my friend is doing. She's going to be starting at a a huge accounting firm uh, come at the dawn of this, uh, this new year. And at the same time, she actually has an online business. See, that's what this is about, people. You don't want just one source of income. You want multiple sources. You need to figure out what product you want to give out to the world. See, I was actually in the shower this morning, and I had the million-dollar idea. I haven't had this idea in a very, very long time. And then I hurry up and said, hey, I'm going to get my student to help me. So he started. he began to help me, and then now... You know, two hours into my day, I'm actually doing, I'm literally doing what I was supposed to do in the first three months of next year today. I'm literally going to figure it all out because that's how this works. This is, you need to ask yourself, what is your true self-worth? And you know what's crazy? When I set up these other multiple channels, people are not going to be happy about it. They're going to be like, oh, well, you're doing too much. Oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. And then that's when I say, hey, I no longer need you. I can walk right out of here. See, that's what happens when you start figuring, when you start asking yourself the questions. Like, you know what? I, I don't need to be here anymore. I don't need to do this anymore. That's what happened when I was a dental assistant. When I was a dental assistant in Australia, I'm like, okay, I only have one source of income and it's only doing this, especially in America too. So when the College of Southern Nevada actually closed down towards the end of the year in December for two weeks, I was out of half a month's salary. And I'm like, oh, well, this stinks. I need to look for other work. See, that that life shouldn't be like that. You should have multiple. So when one salary goes down, you're like, okay, that's down for this month. So I'm going to focus more on this and create more here. Then I got some coming in from over here, over here, over here, over here. That's how this works.
So if you guys actually have any questions in terms of multiple sources of income, it all depends what your career is too. Is your career something 